Well, hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about just a brief introduction to percents. Just to really quickly break apart this word percent, per is a word that often refers to dividing. And cent is derived from a Latin word that means 100. Think of century, there are 100 years in a century, or cents, there are 100 cents in a dollar. So if we have a percent given to us, say 41%, we can actually divide 41 by 100, which is just point for one, uh, you know that dividing by 100 is the same as taking the decimal place and moving it over two spaces. So 41% is the same exact thing as 0 0.41. Here the number is written as a percent. Here the number we say is written as a decimal. Another way to write this number would be as a fraction. 41 divided by 100, 41%. And if this fraction could be reduced, we of course would do that. So we just learned that every percent can be written as a decimal or as a fraction. Likewise, any fraction can be written as a decimal or percent, or any decimal can be written as a percent or a fraction. So we can make this sweet little chart here, and I could give you a number in the chart, say 41%, and ask you to write that number in the other two forms. In this case, we just did that. We wrote 41% is 0.41 and also as 41 over 100. What if I instead gave you a decimal like 0.6 and asked you to write that decimal as both a percent and as a fraction. Well the rules don't change. We know that re the relationship between a decimal and percent involves moving the decimal place two spaces. To go from a decimal to a percent we move the decimal point two spaces to the right and we get 60 percent. Now if we want to write this 60 percent as a fraction that's 60 over 100 which can actually be reduced. We can divide numerator and de denominator by a factor of 10 to get 6 tenths. And then we can divide numerator and denominator by 2 to get 3 fifths. So we write the percent as a fraction over 100 and then we reduce to get 3 fifths. The last scenario you might encounter is wanting to convert a fraction into a decimal and a percent. Let's say I give you 3 eighths. How do you convert 3 eighths into a decimal? Well what you have to do is you actually have to do the long division. 3 divided by 8. In this case that involves putting a decimal place and adding some zeros and then you do the long division as you normally would. You can check my work on that but I'm getting that 3 eighths when you do the long division is 0.375. Then if you want to take that decimal and convert it into a percent that again just involves moving the decimal place two places to the right. So that's all I have for this very brief video, just a really basic introduction. Again, you'll talk more about this in class. I want to get you a quick video quiz. Just do exactly what I just did with different numbers. Complete this chart. Okay, great. I'll see you in the next video.